By order of the Overseer Council, the following file is Level Omega 4121 classified. Failure to enter credentials will result in termination via Barry Mann Langford Mimetic Kill Agent. Input code Credentials recognized. Kill agent rescinded. Warning. Further approval necessary. Does the Black Moon howl? Input code Welcome, Overseer. Accessing files. Item number SCP-4121. Object class? Thaumiel. Heimel. Threat level? Black. Special Containment Procedures SCP-4121 cannot be contained without causing a CK-class restructuring scenario or a ZK-class reality failure scenario. Public philosophical documentation, or theories, relating to SCP-4121 are to be suppressed, monitored. Individuals responsible for public research into SCP-4121 are to be placed into Foundation employ or, if uncooperative, terminated. All research into SCP-4121 is to be confined to Site Omega-1. Counteractive efforts targeting SCP-4121 should remain in a partially constructed, conceptual stage. Should SCP-4121 experience widespread neutralization, all emergency protocols for affected items should be initiated simultaneously. Emergency Order Modus Omega must be fully conceived and initiated. Initiation of Emergency Order Modus Omega is to be considered an Alpha-1 priority task. All staff assigned to Site Omega-1 must remain in Site Omega-1. MTF Psi-58 immovable objects are to halt any personnel attempting to exit Site Omega-1. No attempts at euthanization are to be made. All research divisions of Site Omega-1 are not to collaborate, exchange research, or change divisions without authorization by Site Director Edwin. Description SCP-4121 is a space-time impetus paradox affecting the current reality inhabited by the human race, the SCP Foundation, and all associated items of importance. Currently, SCP-4121 does not affect the entirety of surface reality. Instead, it is localized to specific physical and conceptual items. These include organizations, person-slash-entities of interest, areas, and events. Possible changes in the behavior of SCP-4121, including the possibility of universal coverage, are covered in Emergency Order Modus Omega. SCP-4121 causes a causal stasis effect in which certain events cannot proceed beyond a point in time. Similarly, actions affecting certain entities cannot proceed. This effect has been both beneficial and harmful to the SCP Foundation. While SCP-4121 served to effectively maintain the current status quo, it has also prevented the direct improvement or enhancement of containment practices for a number of SCPs. SCP-4121 has also hindered relationships with multiple groups of interests. However, it is likely the anomaly has also had similar effects on the groups of interests themselves. As a result, multiple offensive measures have remained at partial construction. Currently, active countermeasures are impossible to develop due to SCP-4121 affecting these ideas upon complete conceptualization. Emergency Order Modus Omega is under partial conceptual construction, as to avoid being affected by the anomaly. SCP-4121 does not affect items experiencing a fragmented conceptualization. For example, if a concept is partially realized by three different persons, SCP-4121 will not hinder any developments. However, if these proto-ideas are compiled to form a single concept, SCP-4121 will hinder actualization. These items can also be documented, but all documentation must remain partially complete. Due to this, Emergency Order Modus Omega is currently held in a fragmented form by all O5 Council members. SCP-4121 is hypothesized to also be affecting termination attempts of multiple SCPs. See Addendum 01-4121 ASCP. While this hypothesis cannot be confirmed in a traditional sense, containment procedures of SCPs not currently facing termination have been adapted to account for their causal invulnerability. 
partially conceptualized termination plans have also been established. Discovery SCP-4121 was first discovered by Dr. Edwin, who was previously assigned to SCP-3229. While investigating a means of proactive containment, Dr. Edwin stumbled upon a symptom of SCP-4121. The following are extracts from Dr. Edwin's personal log, referring to his investigation into this anomaly. June 23rd. I found multiple initiatives, declassified and approved, were never acted upon. I sent this information to Dr. Yu, thinking it was a localized anomaly. Perhaps the cave didn't want us going to certain places. Then while venting about the conundrum with one of my colleagues, Dr. Wallace, he told me he'd noted behaviors among the hostile entities within 3229 that he suspected were linked. June 25th? I've contacted more researchers at other sites, searching for more evidence to confirm my theory. I've come across a number of incidents that I think may lead my hypothesis to a much more dangerous conclusion. My initial suspicion that something was affecting progress at Area 55 has been expanded. I contacted an old friend of mine down in- He has higher clearance than I do. He told me there were several incidents similar to mine. Some chalked up as bureaucracy losing track, some were just marked under one SCP or another, some were just left to collect dust. All of which are sloppy, an uncharacteristic action for the Foundation. This warrants further investigation. June 26th. Wallace brought me out of my feverish researching, but all I could talk about on break was how close I was to cracking it. It's all I can think of now. Wallace warned me the director would be irate if this took precedence over my work on site. I've chosen to ignore the warning. I don't bear any disrespect for the director, nor do I doubt how important my usual work is. I just know I've found something. Something I can't leave to collect dust. June 29th. More findings on my personal project. We had a site breach today. I used it to look into some more... restricted data. I was lucky, very lucky, not to be shot. It was worth it though. This is an anomaly all to itself. Records of it are everywhere, they just didn't see all the puzzle pieces. I've been trying to piece them all together as the site calms down. Something has to be there. It has to. June 30th. Site Director Yu requested me in his office. I've been told to expect all information to be classified at the highest level. July 1st. I was right. Addendum 014121. File ASCP. Accessing file. The following is an extract from log 4121 slash ASCP, a collection of all SCP subjects hypothesized to be affected by SCP-4121's anomalous properties. Note that in some cases, SCP-4121 also assists in the maintenance of current containment. For a comprehensive log of persons and groups of interest affected by SCP-4121, see log 4121-AG-P. slash For recorded events affected by SCP-4121, see log 4121-AE. SCP Item SCP-096 Hypothesis SCP-096 has not been destroyed due to the effects of SCP-4121. Evidence See Incident 096-1-A SCP Item SCP-2399 Hypothesis SCP-2399's repairs have been infinitely stalled by SCP-4121. Foundation countermeasures have similarly been affected. Evidence Inactivity regarding Protocol Legionnaire, Effectiveness slash Maintenance of Barrier Array, State of SCP-2399. SCP Item SCP-3284 Hypothesis SCP-3284 has not currently breached containment due to the effects of SCP-4121. Evidence See Experiment Log B. SCP Item SCP-682 Hypothesis SCP-682's regenerative abilities are caused by SCP-4121, 
Furthermore, SCP-682 has not been able to permanently breach containment due to SCP-4121. Evidence Retracted Hypothesis does not take into account the exact nature of SCP-4121's anomalous effects. SCP item SCP-3426 Hypothesis The progression towards fulfilling the conditions of SCP-3426 is being prevented by SCP-4121. Evidence Multiple research paths unable to proceed beyond points of conception, unifying social theorem or religious unification ideals are similarly prevented. SCP item SCP-2317 Hypothesis SCP-2317 has not breached containment due to the effects of SCP-4121, despite its capacity to do so. Evidence See SCP-2317 slash I.6 SCP item SCP-001 Hypothesis Evidence Addendum 02-4121 File Researcher Impairment Accessing File The following is a collection noting the psychological status of Site Omega-1 and various incidents that have hindered research as of 20 For the full record of personnel and their full psych evaluations, see document 4121-SSE. Currently, 97% of staff have noted mental, physical, or causal strain to their work. Dr. Emily Horan. Date of Incident. April 8th. Nature of Incident. Dr. Horan began to suffer minor anxiety throughout the day, as well as reporting a foggy memory of the last three months of her assignment in Site Omega-1. Current Status. Dr. Horan was permitted medical leave for four days and was reporting much better mental health upon removal from Site Omega-1. However, on return, all knowledge of her previous research was removed from Dr. Horan's memory. In addition, Dr. Horan was unable to conceive of new research related to SCP-4121. Dr. Mark Morandi Date of Incident April 17th Nature of Incident Dr. Morandi reported missing research files on SCP-4121, which he then set out to restore. Dr. Morandi has noted a sense of déjà vu upon reporting this incident. Current Status Dr. Morandi continues to restore his files. Any attempt to remove Dr. Morandi from his causal loop has met with failure. Researcher David Brown Date of Incident May 2nd Nature of Incident Researcher Brown has suffered 15 panic attacks over the previous 8 days and has been diagnosed with clinical depression, despite having no record of mental illness in multiple prior staff screenings. Researcher Brown has repeatedly expressed that his research cannot be finished. Current Status Attempts to reassign Researcher Brown have met with failure. Repeated attempts to assign medical aid to Researcher Brown have also met with failure. Attempts to self-terminate by Researcher Brown have met with failure. Researcher Brown currently remains on-site under supervision. Senior Researcher Anaya Date of Incident May 11th Nature of Incident Senior Researcher Anaya was detained as of May 11th when she underwent a violent seizure and began to assault fellow staff members and subordinates. Witnesses describe Anaya as babbling and note a repeated mention of the loop that never breaks, never will be broken, never has been broken. Current Status Senior Researcher Anaya remains detained in the medical wing and has remained unresponsive. She currently continues to vocalize that the loop never breaks, never will be, never has been broken. Date of Incident July 27th Nature of Incident Sergeant Michael Sullivan was responsible for an attempt to euthanize staff members of Site Omega-1. He was successful in eliminating one researcher bell, as evident by security footage. Current Status Attempts to discipline Sergeant Sullivan have been unsuccessful. Researcher Bell has currently been euthanized five times. Both Sergeant Sullivan and Researcher Bell have been quarantined. 
Site Director, Jacob Data redacted by order of 05-1. Addendum 034121. File, Ethics Review. Accessing File. The following is an extract from a report compiled by Van of the Ethics Committee following an inspection of Site Omega-1. I have remained in your design for well beyond the time you have assigned me. I remain to my course. This is an abomination. Site Omega-1 has the highest rate of staff incident in our entire organization. In the entire foundation. Edwin has men and women here rolling a boulder up a hill just to see it roll down, and you just pile more dirt onto the hill. I've been to site- I saw a man feed a child to 682, and I'm more disgusted by this than anything I've seen before. If these experiments had delivered any benefit at all, then maybe, just maybe, I would be inclined to understand. I've seen no progress, and as such, my recommendation is simple. Tear it all down. We're financing and enabling torture. There is no excuse. Respectfully, Van, Ethics Committee. Addendum 044121. File 05 Appeal. Credentials recognized. The following is an extract from Director Edwin's review by and appeal to the O5 Council. Interviewed Site Director Edwin. Interviewer O5 Council. Forward. This interview was recorded directly following the review of Van and prior to Director Edwin being directly affected by SCP 4121. Begin log O5 3. Dr. Edwin. You stand accused of a gross abuse and mishandling of Foundation assets, staff, and assigned SCPs. Your site was inspected by a representative from the Ethics Committee. Under any normal circumstances, you would be put to death immediately, but the Council has deemed it important to allow you to explain yourself. Dr. Edwin. Is that so? Here I was believing the anomaly had saved me too. Enough insubordination, Director. It is on your shoulders to dismiss the ethics review, so I suggest you start talking. Certainly, sir. Mr. Van was very thorough in his investigation. I am surprised his report was not even remotely slowed by the anomaly, but it is missing some vital information. Despite the conditions my staff face, we have learned a significant amount from our work at Site Omega-1. 05-4 Such as... Firstly... And most importantly, the anomaly behaves in multiple ways. While our document states it has a stasis effect, our staff incidents show it also causes a loop. Now, you may consider this a minor difference, but the behavior of the space-time continuum when faced with stillness, compared when facing a cycle, is significant. And why do you believe this distinction was worth sacrificing lives over? What lives have I sacrificed, sir? Site Omega-1 has minimal staff casualties. You know exactly what I refer to, Edwin. Sir, we have never had an incident that is worth sacrificing our future for. I... 05-7. 4, please. What do you mean, our future? I'm sure you're used to the endless existential threats we deal with here. Something capable of ending the human race gets found and caged up every day. It's easy to underestimate something that doesn't pose an immediate threat. Are you accusing us of negligence, Director? No, sir. Think of it this way. There are many anomalies that we cage. Some could doom us all. The human race stands on the edge of a cliff, and many of those anomalies are more than capable of pushing us off. This is different. SCP-4121 is not humanity at the edge of a fall. Humanity is clinging on by its fingers. Without my research, we are at 4121's mercy. We may stay like that forever, or we may fall when we least expect it. I ask you all here, now, which would you say is worse? 05-1 You have made your case then, Director? Have I made my case? If that is all, your appeal will be reviewed by the Council now. My appeal? Did you even listen to a word I just said? Yes, Edwin, we did. Do not try my patience. Guards, dismiss the accused. 
The interviewed is dismissed. I don't like it. If we let this slide, we're throwing away whatever human decency we still have. Yet we still must come to a verdict. Terminate the video. End log. Interesting SCP. I think... If you watch the video about five more times, you'll understand what the effect is. Or me saying that might have clued you in. Or maybe not. Who knows? Time paradoxes work weird. One last thing before I give credit and say goodbye. To the person that called me an AI voice the other day, you're living rent-free in my head right now, and I'm really mad at you, okay? I'm not an AI voice, you want to hear it? That's me banging on my table. Banging on my table. Or do I have to show off my amazing voice skills with my amazing pitch modulation that I can do on the fly at any time whenever I feel like it? You know? This article was written by Kyriox, I think that's how you pronounce their name, of the SCP Wiki. You can view a link to the article in the description down below. Thank you for listening. Except for that guy who called me an AI voice. I hope you have a good day. Except for that guy who called me an AI voice. <laughs>